I don't really think I needed any more grocery stores to aid to my addiction, but I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to go. Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share with you my weekly grocery haul and meal plan. So I apologize, I'm bringing this video a little late to you on a Monday night, later than I would like to, but today was my best friend's birthday, and so I've been in the kitchen cooking all day, making a red lobster dupe meal, which was absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was my first time ever making it, and it came out really good, so if you guys are interested, I will do it again and film like a copycat um, for the coconut shrimp. It was so, so good. We'll talk about that in the meal plan, but needless to say, that's why I was late bringing you this video tonight. I hope everyone is doing well, but I was so excited to bring this to you guys today because I went to a new grocery store and I couldn't wait to share. So I actually went to three stores this week. I only ran into Food Lion because I needed to go to like a mainstream grocery store because the two stores I shopped at were Aldi and Lidl. Now, Aldi, I bring you guys all the time, but Lidl was new to me and I have seen the store. It's right on the opposing corner of my Aldi and it's been there probably about a year and a half, but I have never gone in. I didn't need another grocery store to add to my addiction, so I've actually never gone inside, but a bunch of you guys have been writing me and asking what my feels are on the store, especially my friends and family from New York because Lidl is coming to Long Island. So everyone's asking my opinion and I didn't have one. So I was excited to go inside there. I didn't get a lot of footage, but Madison was with me. So I'll link her channel down below if you haven't checked her out, but she's going to share a shop with me from inside so you guys can see it. But it was pretty cool. It was like George Jetson in there. It was really neat. I spent um, about $130 between all three stores. So let me take you down to the counter and I'll show you what I got for this week's meal plan. Okay guys, so here is a quick overview of what I picked up from Lidl and from Aldi today. And then I did just run into my local Food Lion. And that is definitely one of the things that will happen if I shop and continue to shop at a place like Aldi or Lidl, just because sometimes there are just name brand things or something that these stores just do not have. And if you need something specific, that's why I ended up in my local Food Lion. So uh, I did just pick up these pizzas. Daryl is going to have a dad and kid day um, over the weekend. And so I thought something like this would be really easy for him for to just cook for the kids for lunch. So this is that Mama Cozy's brand again, or yeah, Mama Cozy's. And this stuff was just so, so good. And these ones weren't nearly as big. They're not like those 16 inch ones, but these were only $4. So I got two smaller ones. I got the Thin Crust Chicken Bacon Ranch. Um, Daryl's going to go crazy for that one. And the little kids will like that too, but Jake is going to be all over this meatball marinara one. He likes when the meatballs are like the little tiny meatballs. So he's going to be super stoked. And again, eight bucks for two pizzas. So I feel like you cannot beat that. Uh, again, another watermelon. It was the last one. And my, the last one I got, you guys, it started to rot right here before I cut it. So I was a little disappointed. Uh, I never had that problem with the Walmart one. So I hope that that's not like something reoccurring with the Aldi watermelon because that is a better price than Walmart. Uh, we ate this for dinner tonight. I didn't get to make that Mississippi roast. I didn't defrost it in time. Womp womp. So instead, I just got some Chinese food there that I've never tried before. And being that we already ate it, um, I saved the packages and I figured I could actually tell you guys how it is since we already ate it. Uh, this sweet and sour chicken was super good. Um, Madison and I went back and forth. She thinks the one from Trader Joe's, the mandarin orange chicken, has more. I kind of thought this has more. And I would need to like compare the ounces and see and they were the same price so that it would matter um this tasted exactly the same but my same suggestion for that one is my suggestion for this one and is that as soon as you bake it and it's super crispy that you literally either serve it with the sauce on the side or you toss it and eat it immediately if it sits for even five minutes the sauce soaks into the chicken and then it's not crispy anymore and it's not nearly as good but i did like that and i did really like their chicken fried rice um i want to say the one from trader joe's is better um but this was a lot cheaper this was only like two dollars where the one from trader joe's i feel like is maybe closer to even four bucks um and but this is the same thing you just i, I nuke it and it was so so good um, 
um, and I can't beat that with the big chunks of chicken. So that was really good. And then with it, we had these two things. So these crab rangoons were only $2 and so were these um, chicken egg rolls. These crab rangoons were okay. Madison liked them a little bit better than me. I was expecting the cream cheese ones and when I bit into it, it just was not the same. It says cream cheese and crab meat in a crispy shell, but it's just not accurate. It just doesn't look like that on the inside. It's not white at all. So I don't know if it was mind over matter. Um, they didn't have a bad flavor. I just, I don't think I would purchase them again just solely because um, I was looking for that white creamy inside texture that those didn't have. But if you do like crab rangoons for two bucks, they're worth a try because Madison said she would repurchase them again. So uh, it really just depends on your taste buds, I guess. But these I will definitely uh, do again. And that is the Kung Pao mini chicken and egg rolls. There were seven of them in here. They were super crispy and delicious and honestly probably one of the best egg rolls ever and I did them in my air fryer so it was like frying them but we baked them so so good like absolutely delicious. So these like highly recommend would definitely get them again and two dollars you guys like great deal. Uh, here are the little snack packs. These are like the Philadelphia ones. So excited to try these. So this one's jalapeno and then this one is garden vegetable so I feel like these are just good like for a snack you know even like a this is like having your own little snack box like doing this with some veggies or a fruit just good for during the day for myself i got these garden vine tomatoes uh, i thought this was a pretty good price because these are organic and it was two dollars for this bag so they're pretty hefty tomatoes and they look nice and red so i figured we can use these like for burgers and sandwiches because i got little those little tomatoes again for the salads I finally caved and got the um, liners for the crock pot. The only thing that this says is fits three to six and a half quart and mine is an eight. So I'm thinking that this is going to, I don't know, we'll have to see um, how it fits. But I'm excited to try it just because everybody uses them and I never do. And I'm tired of cleaning my crock pot. So I might as well just give it a shot. Uh, I got some crushed pineapple that is to make birthday cake for Paul and to make the sauce for the coconut shrimp. Some creamy peanut butter. We're almost out. We love the one from Aldi. I got some Swiss cake rolls and the peanut butter wafers. Such a great price. Daryl loves these and for 88 cents it just beats like the little Debbie ones that are twice the price. Uh, I got, whoa, I got Daryl some squeeze cheese. See, it doesn't even want me to hold it because it's stinking gross. But he loves it, and if he loves it, that's fine. Let him have a treat. I saw it Aldi. I've never seen it before, so he got it. Do you see that, you guys? Yes. Do you see this? This has got a little story behind it. You see that? Yeah, so the Valentine's Day stuff is all marked down. So if you really were interested in any of this stuff run to your aldi and see what they have left so there was a spot for this but it looked like it was all gone and i was like oh no heck no i'm gonna keep looking and i moved some boxes and found this one lonely pack sitting in the back so i paid three bucks for this you guys like do you know how happy that makes me these are amazing so i'm so happy that i got those like i'm super stoked this was something else that was like one of those really good deals so these were the ones that were for valentine's day and madison hauled these and she paid full price and that was ten dollars uh 9.98 or whatever and that was still a good price for 24 non-gmo applesauce packets and then i got two for that price so we ended up with 48 pouches for 9.98 insane like i will not need applesauce for months on end and we love these we literally say that aldi has the best of the applesauce pouches so i was really excited to score those like that was a mega deal for me i mean obviously i had to lay out a decent amount up front but that's so worth it because i won't need to purchase applesauce for a long time uh look at these napkins you guys look how many are in here 40, 40 napkins. These were the ones that they had left over from Super Bowl. They were marked down to 25 cents. So 50 cents, got two of them to put away for football season next year. I got romaine hearts since yes, you guys, the other ones are like mushy and gross and needed to be tossed. So I replaced that. And then I also got a Caesar salad kit for a dinner this week. And then apple juice, you guys. And I believe that that was it for Aldi. And that was $62. So 
my applesauce took a big chunk of that and the pizza and the Chinese food, but I still think that was a pretty good price for 62 bucks. And then here is Lidl. So my thought on Lidl is, is probably a sister comparison to Aldi. I don't really know. A lot of organic products, a lot of organic products, a lot of more high end meat because they were all grass fed and like better quality. Um, but they also still had like plain old regular, like the same brand, the kitchen ready broth that I saw there was the same broth they have in the Dollar Tree. So I feel like it could go either way. Um, but I spent uh, $60 in here. So, oh no, it was 60 in Aldi and 62. Not that it really matters. It's only off by two bucks, but it was pretty darn close. But this one was $62 and I got this lamb like you guys. Look at these lamb chops. Oh my goodness. So, so good. And it rubbed off, but this said 30% off. So I only paid $7 for these grass fed Australian free range, like no added anything lamb loin chops like they look so delicious I cannot wait to make them I absolutely love them and then this was something that was marked down which was like insane like look at those pork chops that's like perfect it's not too thick it's not too thin I love it and it says $2.29 a pound well it was marked down to $1.29 a pound so I paid just about five bucks for this big package of pork chops so I'm excited to try this and this is their brand like this actually says Lidl and it says all like born and raised in the USA like there's big signs all about their like meat and stuff so definitely worth like keeping an eye on and like things like this these kinds of deals insane deals so these are originally these are like regular chicken patties and then they are originally three dollars and 89 cents and then it was buy one get one so you got two for 389 like i was going to get more at bj's this this month but i do not need to that is more than enough um i love having those for backup meals and i mean you just i don't know you can't beat that uh, this was my only like womp womp of the whole store and that was the orange juice. So this orange juice you guys is a non-GMO orange juice. It looks very similar to the one that I have and that I get in all the packaging and all and this said $1.29 and I was like whoa that is an amazing price. So I got two and it didn't ring up that so I asked the guy and you actually have to be part of this club. Let me see if I can find the paper. So here is this little paper and it basically tells you to download the Lidl app and then you shop and scan. And it says the app three times of purchases of $20 or more and you earn rewards and stuff towards your next visit. So if you had this app, this would have been a dollar 29 otherwise it was 229 at the register which is not a bad price but i could have got the orange juice that we like from aldi for a dollar 99 so i could have saved myself a little bit of money there but now i know and if i want to continue to shop in the store then i'm going to download the Lidl's app so that i make sure i get the extra bonuses of whatever deals that they are running uh, their coffee pods were pretty, uh, were actually 20 cents cheaper. All these are $3.89 and th these are $3.69. So same thing, 12 of them. So I got Daryl the French Vanilla and then I got the Dark House Blend uh, for Paul, like to give him for his birthday. Um, and then these bag of apples were only $1.99 and these are like the little apples like for the their hand sizes. So they're called Premium Petites. So that looks really cute, $1.99 for two pounds. So I thought that was a good deal. Uh, no Walmart, so I couldn't get those tomatoes. I've been getting the Sweet Bites, but these say Sweet Pops. So I figured hopefully they're along the same line. They're just as good. And these were like $1.45, so I thought that was a great price. Uh, these were $1.45 too, you guys. Like I, You never really see me buy avocados. But first of all, it's a bag of these little mini guys. Look at them. Look. Look at these little mini avocados. They look so cute. 
and I love them. And for $1.49, I thought that was a great price. So I'm just going to make some guacamole. Uh, I have a bunch of red onions and one of those tomatoes. Um, and I have a bunch of garlic that I need to use up and some lime juice. So it'll be perfect just to whip up some guacamole to munch on this week. Um, and yeah, you can't beat that for $1.49. So I was excited. These were $0.75, cents, so that's even cheaper than Aldi, um, which is normally like $0.80. Cents, so I saved some money there uh, for the baby carrots. And I got two cucumbers. Uh, like I said, my stuff did freeze, so my little cucumbers didn't make it. Uh, I picked up two just packages of the ranch seasoning mix until I can buy the big thing at BJ's. Uh, this was a great price, $1.50 for the Driscoll's raspberries, so I picked those up. Uh, $1.29 for whole baby bella mushrooms, so I picked this up for pizza night. $0.65 cents for the cream cheese, so I picked up two packages of those. No, I still have not tried the Aldi one yet. We're going to try that in the morning with bagels, so I'll be able to let you guys know um, how that was. Like, check my Insta story, because if you guys check, like, in the next whatever, 24 hours from seeing this when it goes live, um, you guys will be able to see what I thought of it, because I want to put it um, there on my Insta story, but hopefully it's good, and hopefully this is just as good, 65 cents, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, these, you guys, these were another one of those buy one, get one free deals. So these are originally $1.99, but then it was buy one, get one free, so I got two of them, so I'm just gonna stick them in the freezer, for any time there's a vent or something that I need to bake, like I can pull those out and do place and bake cookies, like absolutely insane. So I'm excited about that. And then look at these, family size classic chocolate frozen dairy dessert. So this is supposed to be like their take on a Magnum bar, eight of them in there, and they were $1.99. Like that is an insane price. If they're good, I'm gonna go back and stock up because Everybody loves ice cream and stuff during the summer. We pay stupid money at Walmart for like those dumb big boxes of all those different kinds of stuff when we would all prefer these. For $1.99, you can't beat that. So I'm dying to try them. If they're good, I'm totally going back and restocking. Um, cheesy garlic bread uh, potato chips, you guys, for $1.29. Yep, Daryl's going to go crazy. They had like rib, baby back rib, and then they had something else. There was like a whole bunch of different kinds and this I think is their brand so I'm curious like some of these things really piqued my interest um got these big jumbo peeled and deveined raw shrimp for the coconut shrimp I am making for Paul and his birthday dinner uh got some pure coconut water I needed that for his birthday dinner along with the Japanese style panko breadcrumbs these were $1.59 and not the best deal left there went to the Dollar Tree saw my panko breadcrumbs there the ones that I like the non-gmo ones so I kind of lost there but you know you win some you lose some when you go to the new store you got to kind of work stuff out and see what is the best right um and then they did have the red lobster um biscuits which Aldi carries them too, um, but I bought that as a backup just in case. I'm going to share with you guys the whole dinner that I'm making for Paul, which is like a red lobster dupe night, and I'm gonna try and make them myself. But if they come out awful and it's his, it's his birthday, I don't wanna mess them up. So I got these just in case, but we'll see. Um, and that says it only makes 10 biscuits, and let's be real, Paul can probably make eat 10 by himself. So um, it's good to have that as a fallback. Uh, they just had these for 50 cents, so I picked up two of them and not going to Walmart. Um, I realized I didn't stock well on dog food, so I just grabbed two of these for now. And I actually may even need to run into Walmart and grab their specialty food that I get them because, again, like I said, sometimes by going to these little stores, I don't have everything that I need. So the bakery. All right, this is probably my favorite part of this whole store, but their bakery was awesome. And they had like a whole self-serve section. And look at these beautiful croissants, like so deliciously beautiful. And they were 25 cents. So I got four for a dollar. So I picked these up to freeze. I'm gonna do uh, breakfast sandwiches for Daryl. He likes that. And then this is their like other free range like bakery stuff. So the most that it was was uh, 98 cents. So this fritter was 98 cents and this hazelnut, um, this is a hazelnut, like it's stuffed with Nutella, okay? Yeah, all right, so that was 98 cents. And then this donut was 59 cents and these things were two for a dollar and that was like a maple pecan pastry. 
I don't know, that stinking looks delicious. Like all that stuff together and we only paid three bucks. Like absolutely amazing. Like really, really was impressed. So they're definitely on my radar now. And then the last thing I got was these few things from Food Lion. So I needed um, New England clam chowder for Paul's dinner along with coconut milk. These were the things that I could not find at either one of the stores that we went to today. So I got two cans of each. And then I got the recipe onion soup mix um, for stroganoff. And then I got these for our Chinese dinner, but we've already finished dinner and I forgot about them. So got these cute little fortune cookies like, oh, look how cute they are, you guys. 10 of them in there, individually wrapped. And this was a dollar, like so super cute. Absolutely love that, like so fun for a Chinese food night. And that was it, guys. That was my three stores for this week. Okay guys, so here is the meal plan for Monday, February the 18th through Sunday the 24th. So today, Monday, must have coffee or after a long weekend. And today is my best friend's birthday. So super fun to do a red lobster night for him. We did the clam chowder, the Cheddar Bay biscuits. I made the homemade coconut shrimp and the Parrot Bay pina colada sauce. And then everybody else did the grilled cheese and soup, whoever didn't want that, but it was so delicious. So I can't wait to film that for you guys. And then tomorrow, Daryl has an early day. So I'm super excited about that because we're gonna do like a family game night kind of thing and um, we're gonna do ribs on the barbecue so he really loves that and that's something I've been waiting to have for a night when I knew he would be home for dinner so I have those big racks of ribs so I'm gonna slow cook them in the oven all day and then he'll flash put them on the barbecue when he gets home so I'm really excited about that and we're gonna do that with pasta salad and watermelon so super stoked uh, and then um, on Wednesday, we're going to do my cheesy bacon chicken. This is actually one of the recipes that are in my cookbook. And if you guys are new, I always have my cookbook linked in the description box below if you guys want to check it out on Amazon. But this is one of my favorite recipes in that book, my cheesy bacon chicken. And I'm going to do that with roasted potatoes and broccoli. Um, and then on Thursday, I'm going to do a stroganoff. I have a cooking video for that, so I'll link it up above and down below. And we'll just do that with corn, and I'm going to make a huge salad. Friday is our make your own pizza night, and then we'll just do the leftover salad. Um, we have so many toppings. I have like pineapple and some mushrooms and onions and peppers and like, so I'm just gonna make a big smorgasbord. I even have olives and like different kind of meats. I'll probably ha save some bacon from the cheesy bacon chicken. Um, so we'll have a bunch of stuff to put on the pizza. So that sounds really good. Everyone's excited about that. And then on Saturday, I'm actually flying out for the day. So this was a big surprise to me that was just like brought up to me by my aunt uh, yesterday or the day before. But on Saturday night is my grandfather's 85th birthday party. Now it's a surprise. He doesn't know. He's my last remaining um, grandparent. And to be honest, they probably won't throw him another party until, you know, say 90 or something like that. And, you know, dear Lord, I hope that knock on wood, you know, he makes it there. But in this day and age, you just never really know. And so I was pretty sad that they were throwing this party. And, you know, when you're far away from home, these are the things that you miss. And so my whole family pitched in and all bought me a plane ticket to fly in for just the day. So it was really kind of them, like my aunts, my uncles, like it's actually a gift to my grandfather so that we have a photographer coming so that the family could take pictures and all of that kind of stuff. So everybody kind of chipped in so that I could make it. So I'm really excited, but I hate to stinking fly, you guys. Like I hate it, especially flying by myself. So I'm really not looking forward to this at all. All. Um, but I leave at 8.30 in the morning on Saturday. My flight lands at 10.30. So Daryl will be home with the kids. He's really excited to have a day just like the two, the three of them with nothing to do. Um, the three littles and him. So he actually says it's going to feel like work, but he only has to cook for a couple of people. So we still have five guys burgers in the freezer. So he's just going to do burgers and mac and cheese and that puts him in his element and he'll be fine with that. Um, the party for me is six o'clock at night that night at the Bond went in um, until 10 p.m. So um, then the next day I fly out at one. 
and uh, the airport's like an hour away and you know you have to be there like an hour before so I pretty much are gonna get up eat a bagel and then get back to the airport to fly home um, which means I'm gonna set up this Mississippi roast you guys have bumped this three stinking times already but I keep forgetting to take it out or we're running out of time but this time I'm gonna set it up on like Friday night or early Saturday morning before I leave I'm gonna put everything in the crock pot and just put it in the fridge and then this way Daryl only has to turn this on on Sunday and after he picks me up from the airport we can come home and have a big family dinner before he goes in and closes the restaurant down for a couple of hours so it sounds like a really fun week a lot going on Ooh, ooh, there we go we were fuzzy um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in if you enjoyed this video and the meal plan and you enjoyed me shopping at Lidl's for the first time make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're new here I do share a grocery haul and meal plan every Monday here on my channel for every Everybody else, guys, I love you so, so much, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.